From College Station and the Texas AgriLife Extension Service, this is your weekly two-minute crop report for October 20th, 2009. Heavy rain as much as 10 inches in some areas raised soil moisture levels and generally improved the agricultural outlook throughout most of the state. Though delayed in some areas by the rain, the harvesting of cotton, corn, and hay continued. But even silver linings may have a cloud, and the rain was associated with problems in many areas. Where cotton had opened bowls, wet weather could lower quality. But the real downside to the cool weather in his area is that feral hogs seem to flourish in it, becoming more active and doing increased damage to crops, reports Ryan Martin, AgriLife Extension agent in Motley County, northeast of Lubbock. You know, one uh, one producer, we looked at uh, 200 acres of his. We drove out there. Uh, there was anywhere from 150 to 200 hogs on it, and they have just completely wrecked that field. If uh, that farmer has any intention of harvesting that crop, then he's going to have to go in there and plow it out to get it somewhat smooth where he won't tear up any uh, harvest equipment. What was the crop? Uh, cotton. Cotton? Really? Do they destroy the plants or do they just root around the plants? Or? They root around and they actually, they'll root up that cotton plant. Uh, I don't hmm. know, I take it they're after the root on that on that plant, <clears throat> probably the grubs down in there, but yeah, they, uh, they're not particular about what they tear up. It's amazing how much damage they could just do overnight, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, they'll tear up, like I said, 200 acres in one night if uh, you get a bunch of them moved in. How are you all controlling them out there? The USDA has a wildlife service. It's kind of like a feral hog ratification program, but you have to pay per acre to enroll your land in that program. It doesn't really work around here because you have your neighbor who is trying to get feral hogs in to sell hunts, and here you are enrolled in the program trying to keep the hogs off. Well, it's just a constant back and forth fight. This has been Robert Burns with the AgriLife Communications Unit.